What's up, guys? Don here. I'm Sharice. And we are here at the Haunted Carnival. Mike Piper and Pipe Piper Productions put on this awesome event. Three day, at, well, Thursday for the carnival, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with big, big, big DJs and big entertainers. Tonight we're here for Diplo. Diplo! That's right, we love Diplo. Diplo's gonna rock it. So you guys are gonna get to come in here. They got this awesome carnival right here. And they've got the stage present over here that we're gonna be at. We're in the VIP section, chopping it up, really. With, with all our friends and uh, everybody else is enjoying Diplo and, and this beautiful night here in Tampa, Florida. I mean, it's gorgeous. Weather's perfect. I mean, I got long sleeve on. I'm not sweating my butt off, thank God. Not yet. And uh, at that point, well, maybe after dancing and stuff like that, I'll probably sweat my butt off. But right now, it's good. Beautiful temperature. Let's go inside. Let's start rocking it and get down to Diplo and see what else the Haunted Carnival has to offer us. Let's go. Let's go. What a night, I'll tell you what. The Haunted Carnival with Diplo was out of control. As you can see, the place was packed to the nines. I don't even know how many thousands of people were there that night alone. And this went on Saturday and Sunday. I'm telling you, me, Sharice, and some of the crew went out. We absolutely had a blast. And remember, Titan Medical Center is not just a medical center, it's a lifestyle. So you will see us having a good time, dancing. This was all about excitement, de-stressing, having a good time, and just relaxing to some good music. So at that point, next year, I can't wait for the Haunted Carnival. If you haven't seen it or been out there, you gotta go check it out next year because it's gonna be even bigger and badder, I promise. Big shout out to Pipe Pipe Productions and all the Titan crew that was there. Love you guys, and we'll see you next year at the Haunted Carnival. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another tight medical movie review just for you. And today we are reviewing The Creator. Yes, The Creator. Um, so this movie was really, really good, I thought. Uh, Story-wise, visually-wise, cinematography, I mean, just, it was really, a, a it was a, a stunning movie to watch all together. I mean, even the audio, like uh, tonight was the early advanced screening. So they had an IMAX and you know what, usually I don't like the IMAX theater here. Because it doesn't fit John. The seats suck, and the, the new like renovations. You guys need to make the seats bigger, AMC. But obviously the quality of the movie and the sound are on point. So got to watch that, bigger screen, everything like that. So IMAX was awesome. And like I said, I, I thought, you know, the main character, um, he did really well. And then, you know, there was a child involved in this movie, which was really cool. And it kind of reminded me of like Golden Child for some some Like instance. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Peter's a gold it had child. that vibe to a certain extent. I mean, obviously, it was a lot different. It was, you know, in in the future, obviously with AI, but it brings really, really good points to what could come and what's going to happen in our future. With I don't AI. know why John's saying what could come. We all know that AI is taking over in the future. So enjoy your lives while it lasts. And your jobs. Because it, AI is taking over. Okay, they already took over Target, Walmart. They're taking over McDonald's. You know, they're taking over. Coming. I mean, you know, as far as screenwriters are writing, they're writing scripts. I mean, all kinds <laughs> yeah, of yeah, the AI. So, they're writing your essays in college so, and I mean, everything. Hey, listen, this is kind of crazy, but 
this kind of shows like you know what it could be like in the future for us so mm-hmm. um yeah i think you should definitely go check it out i definitely give it a 4.0 on on uh four stars out of five for this movie um it, like i said it there was really no down parts it was really really good great storyline good. good visuals i mean i couldn't beat it so it was definitely a good one so go see creator i would give my my two thumbs up on this one Two thumbs up. Okay. I think it was really, really good. Um, You know, there was great violence in the movie, so we must highlight that, you know. Um, But I do think it's still a good movie for all types and different kinds of fans out there. And obviously, we all know that AI is the future, right? Yes. AI is the future for everything. Cars. I mean, ever you name it, and it's coming. So every industry. It's it's just it is unfortunately it just it is, and you can't stop it because it's already there. We just don't know about it yet. Um, so, but the movie was great, um, and I like the fact that they involved a kid. If you don't know what it's about, it's about you know basically humans and robots and trying to mesh them together in one society. Um, that's not going to happen because the robots are definitely taking over. However, this movie was great. I thought it was really good, and I'm also going to give it a 4.0. Whoa. That is a high rating for wow. me. But I really liked it. I thought it was that's a really a good movie. Very high for Sharice. Yeah, you know, it was really good. Like, uh, middle range, it was pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's a very good. high rating. That was up there with the, uh, the dog movie. Strays. You haven't seen that one. Check that out too. <laughs> That's a good movie. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I thought it was good. I'll give it, a, you know, definitely a 4.0 solid. Nice. So listen, if she gave it 4.0, <laughs> you should probably definitely check it out. It's good. It's uh, good. <laughs> you know, you can take your girlfriend, wife, family, go solo, whatever it is. Go out, go and enjoy the movie, The Creator. Um, it will be releasing in theaters this Friday. Early sneak peek will be tomorrow. And we got the early, early sneak peek tonight on Wednesday. So Thanks, we're Peter. Lucky. Your game got rained out. <laughs> so we'll be back with more tight medical movie reviews just for you. And we'll be reviewing all kinds of new great movies coming out. And Saw's coming out. The new Saw. We Where are we some- going? Soon. Soon. And you'll be the first to know how good it was or how bad it was. So come back for tight medical movie reviews. We'll be back next time. Like I said, enjoy the movie. Peptides. Listen up, guys, because this is important. Peptides and peptide therapies are going away for good. That's right. The FDA came out and they banned the majority of the different peptides. They have so many different benefits and it helps so many different patients out there with so many different situations and ailments. So, if you guys are looking to get on your peptide therapy or want to continue your peptide therapy, they are still available for a limited time through Titan Medical Center and our pharmacies that we use. So please call or text us at 727 389 3220. You can get up to a six month supply of the peptides that you're utilizing. So if you guys are utilizing peptides or thought about utilizing peptides, now is your time. Do not delay. Like I said, we don't know how long these peptides are going to be around, but the ban is going into effect. So you guys know. If you don't believe me, go ahead and Google it for yourself and you'll read it right there. So, we also have a petition that you guys can sign for peptide therapies to stick around. So go to the FDA. So if you see the petition and it's helped you, these peptides, please sign this petition so we can get the voice heard to the people that need to hear it. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys. And peptides have helped me. I know they helped so many of you. So make sure the peptide therapy don't go away. If it does go away, make sure you have enough to at least help yourself out for a little bit of time. Titan Medical Center makes an appearance at Tweed's grand opening, Tampa location. Uh, we're here at the grand opening of Tweed, their new shop over in Tampa. We're repping Titan Medical Center, informing people who come from maybe Sarasota or different other parts about what we do and how we can help them live their best life and perform at their optimal level.
made it to Tampa. Yeah. Let's go. People always ask me, how can I reach my maximum potential and improve my quality of life? The answer is, it's a journey. It's gonna take dedication, discipline, consistency. Everything in life is a process, and you have to trust the process. You have to believe in yourself. Focus on the execution of the plans towards the improvement. Distractions, obstacles, resistance, they'll always come your way. Don't be swayed, go through them. You hold the key that unlocks your maximum potential. Never be afraid to use it, and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. No matter what your journey may be, Titan Medical Center can help you get there while looking better, feeling better, and performing better. Achieve your goals while performing at optimal levels. Start living your life to the fullest. For more information on how Titan Medical Center can help you, call 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Titan Medical Center can help you achieve the best version of you. From hormone replacement therapy to medical weight loss, blood work, peptides, and much more. All of our therapies are doctor prescribed, monitored, and come straight from a U.S. licensed pharmacy right to your doorstep. Call Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Here today, ABC Action News filming two new segments for the morning blend for Titan Medical Center. We're going to be talking about some great subjects, especially with summer coming along with weight loss, blood work, and much, much more. So come on, join us, see some of the behind the scenes of us taping these segments, and you guys will be the first to see it once it launches on ABC Action News. And if you don't get to see that live, don't worry, we'll have the video we'll post on social media so you guys get to see all the great info and all the great things that we're doing here at ABC Action News. So come along and let's go uh, find Sharice. I think she's getting her makeup done right now. So we'll watch her getting all pretty and then at that point you guys will get to see all the magic as it happens. So come along and join me. So like I promised guys, some behind the scenes footage here at ABC Action News. And of course, I got my beautiful wife over here getting a little touch up action even though she doesn't need it. Uh, by our good friend and awesome makeup artist extraordinaire, Julie Buck. So that's a wrap. Me and my wife Sharice here just got done finishing up our morning blend segments here at ABC Action News. We love it here, we love coming in the studio, um, being able to, you know, express our message and send it out to those great people out there that really can benefit from it and change their quality of life and change their lifestyle into a healthy one. That's what Titan Medical Center is all about. So it's really, really uh, humbling to be in here, to be able to do this. Uh, we had a great time as always. Always right, a good time. Always a good time with, with my lovely husband over yeah. here. You know, so we talked he always, about some really good ones. Well, he, really good he's, he does this all the time. So he's, he's on it, always on it. So I, I, I love that. And I can just bounce off of them. It makes it easy for me. <laughs> so you guys want to definitely check out these segments. If you guys don't get to watch it live on ABC Action News, The Morning Blend, you can DVR it or you guys can go to our social media platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I promise you get to see these segments for yourself. And you definitely want to tune into them. We talk about semi-glutide, we talk about blood work and a lot of other information you guys will benefit from. So make sure you guys are tuning in to our social medias or to ABC Action News and watching The Morning Blend for yourself. See you then. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here, we're gonna give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we wanna make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Definitely does. 100%. And teamwork goes in every avenue of life, pretty much. 
Um, you know, whether you're in a relationship, right? And you're in your job, you probably work with team members. Um, if you play sports, you have team members there. Um, so at that point, like, it's a really important thing. And even, let's talk about relationships. Teamwork is very, very important. And the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys you aren't should. working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot could. Of people like, yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together. You guys start collaborating. You guys start planning things. You guys start doing these different things together. Um, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job. So maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally. Like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode and it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, where yeah. let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean... It's you know, common, I think. It, it is common, you know. I mean, but even in the light of where some people, they just, they compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married, for sure, 100%. Even if you guys are in a, a dating relationship or girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um, it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right. right. The only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave and Buster's and then you really do compete. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know how many are, whoever gets the most baskets, <laughs> whoever <laughs> wins the Mario Kart, <laughs> then you compete, okay? Outside of Dave and Buster's, no competing. It's okay so to have some, some fun competition <laughs> in games. But, you know, in all seriousness, when you guys are doing serious things or, you know, you guys are making serious decisions, that's when the team comes into effect. And now one team member might be better at one thing than the other, right? But that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, Kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? Right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? All right, so you're going to go to soccer. I'm going to do basketball. We're going to meet up. We're going to do dinner at eight, you know, like, and then you're working as a team. So everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind of to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes. Just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, it has to get done, right? It's not, it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, um, but, you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team. Everybody's on the same page. You're communicating. But teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the same exact thing, mm-hmm. too. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially. Mm-hmm. Teamwork, you know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, 100 bucks every week. Your check, 100 bucks every week. Guess what? We have money to go on a vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This mm-hmm. is teamwork makes dream work. Going right mm-hmm. back to it. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like, you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. 
If you guys aren't on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that. It's <laughs> a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the floor, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or hey, I got a pick coming, you know. Or they got a wink or something, you know. Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so, you know, they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about, you know, your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner a know. A nice kick under the table works well, too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, <laughs> we need to get out of the situation. It, it's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You don't. You have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe they were bad ones at that time, and you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And it. you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal or you had to get. overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's huge. I, I, I think that's, a, that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, right? it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, not. ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals, yeah. it, it, what one does affects the, the other. For sure. Regardless, For if sure. you think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, you look at it, you guys are bonded in all of those platforms. Yeah. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. God, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but... Uh, probably not. You can, you can d- definitely tell within, I, I would say the first month or so, of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They, you know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them and not just a one-way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that or people out there where it's a one-way street. Like, right. You know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen, where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only, what, as strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally you're say? You're only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John says right? that all the time. The chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team, and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here. So right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong, too. That link is fortified. Um, and the relationship is the exact same thing. Trust comes into play, too, as a teammate. you got to trust your teammate. because yeah. you know, Then you got to come through on the other end, though. Yeah. You gotta follow through. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you say you're gonna do something, then do it. And, you know, it kind of goes back to, like, you know, I, we came across this other couple. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, like, the going back to the single people, you know, if you meet somebody, I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really gonna work, right? right. You just kinda, it's jump and go, yeah. jump and go, yeah. jump and go, go to the yeah. next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right? Just maybe you'd be surprised. Like you would be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm -hmm. How many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day. Terrible. I know. I know. We're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, "Uh -uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes. You're done. So I'm like, um, uh, I mean, I guess I can give them up, you know? (laughs) Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't smell terrible, you know, all day, like an ashtray, um, because that that smell smells terrible now that I'm not a smoker. I can really smell it, right? And now it's not even cool to smoke, right? Remember back in, like, 1980, it was kind of actually, like, it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you could agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying, is you would make a change, you know, to be a better 
person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just mm-hmm. using that as an example mm-hmm. but you would be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person or you might see really good good stuff in this person mm-hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with right. sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you it's know, definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> <and> hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm-hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip. From me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship Big wise. Time through business, um, through business you do because me and Sharice are connected like twenty four seven. Literally, so. we, I mean business together and we're together all day. All day. So I mean, so, it, you know, really got to find that happy medium. You do. You <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll want to be around that team member all the time. No I know, just so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's gonna be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So make sure you guys are finding <laughs> a good relationship with a good team member right because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you so uh this is just another great tip and trick from me and sharice we're here every sunday 11 a.m abc cupid's corner and if you can't check it out here make sure you guys are checking out youtube just type in tight medical center we've got all the shows there plus instagram and facebook it's on there too make sure you check it out Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.